In this um, video, I want to show you how you can uh, deal with uh, all the files that are corrupt. So I have a sample here, this one. If we analyze it with all the dump, you can just see five streams, the, the five streams that you would find in a simple Word document without any uh, VBA macros. But if you look here at the sizes of the streams and uh, you add them together, you arrive at about 20k. While if you look at the file size here, we are almost uh, speaking of a 80k file. So there's a lot of bytes here in this file that are not stored into streams. Now if we do a strings on this sample and pipe this through less, you can see here uh, the beginning of the strings and now let's search for attribute. Uh, a normal macro, a normal VBA macro that is compressed will start with the keyword attribute. So if we search for attribute here and we find attribute here we can actually see a compressed macro. So here you can read VBA name this document. And if we look for the next one we see another one VB name equals module one, then public, dati, cartellino, and so on. Next one, we don't have anyone. So, although this document here doesn't actually contain streams with uh, VBA macros, there are still VBA macros, compressed VBA macros hid hidden somewhere in this file. And we can uh, use Dump to search for these compressed uh, VBA macros and we do this by uh, using option RAW. The R stands for uh, initial RAW. So a RAW file is uh, not an only file but a file that contains compressed VBA macros. And we want to decompress uh, the file so option V and the file. So now Ole Dump will search for that uh, attribute keyword and then try to decompress um, the macro. And here it found one but it was not able to decompress it and that is because it is uh, corrupt. But we can force Ole Dump to try to decompress as much as it can and you do that uh, with uh, option VBA decompress corrupt like this. And as you can see now here, we have a macro, an auto open macro. This is actually not the normal uh, name, but anyway. And then here some, some extra data that looks like um, it is actually uh, garbage. So by using how we can still extract a uh, macro, but this raw option will only extract the first stream that it finds. And we saw here that we have uh, two streams. So now we are going to select that second stream in that uh, OLE file. So uh, I mean not second stream, but I mean that second uh, compressed VBA macro. And then pass that on to OLE dump. And we can do that with cut bytes where we search for attribute like this. We search for the second instance, so not the first time we find attribute, but the second time. Sorry, and I have to quote this like this. So the second uh, instance, and then we return four bytes, so minus four. And then the rest of the stream, like this. So let me pipe this through less so that you can see already the result of this uh, cut operation. And here, yeah, you can see that attribute VB name module one is selected. So that's what we want. So we can pass this on to Ole Dump, raw, 
decompress. We have an error, so here also the compressed VBA is uh, corrupt. And let's pipe this through this. Okay, and here now we see the macro. This array of integers is actually an uh, encoded URL. You can uh, decode it, but I have a plugin to do this. But let me go to the end. Like this. And here now you can see that we have a lot of lines that are being repeated. And this is again, and here uh, control characters, and this is again an indication of uh, corrupt macros. So let's use the plugin. Linear is a plugin to decode uh, this uh, array of integers. And now uh, here you have uh, the URL.